All right, we're still in Mexico. Now Mexican. Another early morning. Came to check the secret wave. Kind of just not big enough. We're waiting for tomorrow and the next day. Are gonna be the biggest days, but we just got down here, so we're waiting to watch a set. And if it's not good, we're gonna go to Barra. A little bit rainy. Everyone's kind of tired. It's still gonna be fun, no matter where we serve. It's just perfect, fun little waves. Picking up though. Firing. We saw a sick set. Oh. Look at how good that wave is. Ah. Holy shoot! It's good. Pump it. Bigger than yesterday. Biggest day so far. As we forecasted, it's gonna just keep getting bigger. With pumping, we should get out there while the wind's offshore. Every day in Mexico, the wind goes from straight offshore to straight onshore at around like, anywhere from 10 to like 12, midday. It's great. Every single day, you can guarantee the wind's going onshore at some point. Offshore means the wind is blowing up the face of the wave. So if the wave's breaking like this, the wind's going up it, which is really good. It makes it all glassy and nice. For those of you who don't know, and onshore means the wave, the wind is coming this way on top of the wave, over the wave, making it crumbly and not so good. I know a lot of people, know, a lot of you guys know that, but for those of you who don't, that's what I mean. It's a little cloudy and gloomy right now, but I'm not gonna put sunscreen on yet until the sun comes out. Which I don't know if we could still get sunburned right now with this amount of cloud coverage, but we're gonna find out. I'm not used to Mexico being so green. I guess a hurricane had hit like a couple months ago or like a month ago or something and everything just started flourishing. But anyway, if you guys could like this video, subscribe to my channel, that'd be great. It's gonna be a good, good trip. I'm gonna go out.
Fucking ambassador. Puka. Can't do it. Heavy. Oh, that's heavy. Give us your best pigeon. Honor, determination, integrity. Slave, no rash guard, just trunks and puka shell neck. I just gave you pigeon. Come on, come on. Hey, I'm, you're a pigeon. I'm pigeon. Stop <laughs> <laughs> pigeons. What you fucker? <laughs> <laughs> Here, it's insane. Watch this, Colin. Whoa! Whoa. Rocks. Hey, just kick that sand mountain right there. Start kicking. I'm not thing. Here, grab on where you actually are off the ground. I'm going here, I can. Can't hang from right over there. Oh, yeah, maybe like I'm on a thing. I don't know about this, you guys. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Ivan. I'm in the car. Carter. He's a faker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. He <laughs> got robbed right after this. Oh, we got a little fork right here. Waves are a bit funky today. On shore. Not very good. So we decided to explore the rocks with all the boys. Kabara. Very cool. It's bright. Weird haze with the cloud. Cloud coverage haze. What if one of these things just fell, dude? Oh wait, the bird's coming. A bird's coming. All that negative energy. Let it out. Bird's on the Take sticks. Whoa. Oh, ricochet. That's what they call a ricochet. We need the sun to come out. Sun worshippers, it's out there. <laughs> oh, it's out there. You may not see it, but it's doing big work. Getting even closer. Dude, me and Chicho. What a cool place, huh? 11 years old. Okay, cool. We checked out the rocks. Probably gonna go surf. Probably We're gonna be on.
sandwich? My second sandwich. We were on the beach for a, a long time in the sun. The waves are actually pumping right now. The wind is getting super strong kind of on shore, but they're saying this evening is gonna be really, really good, but we're not sure if we wanna wait it out and surf this evening or to go back to the house and chill for the swell that is coming. The bigger days are in a couple days, so we're debating that right now. Dude, we've been on the beach for so long in the sun. It is so hot right now. It's like 102 degrees. Oh, it's cooked. Oh. Look at this. Oh, yeah. at the same time. Okay, well, we decided to go back out for a second session and it's too hard not to surf when the waves are this fun. It's just like perfect, just overhead, rippable, right hand point break. And you're sitting here, it's like, I have to go out. The wind is about to get really good and we're in the debating process. Our plan as of right now is to leave. It's like 4.30. It's gonna get really good this evening, but we've been in the sun and the water for so long today already. And we have three days left of full days of surfing. So I think we're gonna go back to our spot, chill, watch some clips, just sit in the AC, eat a bunch of food, drink a ton of water, and then tomorrow I'll wake up and do it all again for another three days. But check this out, I broke my, my first session. <laughs> my friend, awkward name. Come here. Hey, my board? <laughs> Did they take the broken board? Yeah. Well, I broke one of my boards earlier. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys. And yeah, I should probably stay in the shade and drink some water. My mouth is so salty. Shade. Shade hydration. Dude, shade hydration. My last wave, my legs were barely, I almost fell like four times on the wave. Legs were barely holding on. Oh my gosh. I have rash, serious ball rash right here. But dude, I switched to this board mid-session earlier. This is a 6.0 neck step. It's like a short board neck step, like a board I'd use that pipe. And it works so good in comparison to this one. Just going on top of that. This is the one that broke earlier. This board worked really well as well. I'm really bummed I broke it. I think I might be able to salvage it with some duct tape. Pull it up or push it down, duct tape it. Use it as a backup maybe. 6-0, next step, worked really good. Nate's tip-off. Going in the bag too. That's what I was riding too. 
You could be on to something here, Paisel. A new shortboard. There's a pipe gun. Follow <laughs> the step down. You up, mate. It was fucking the step crazy. down. Make some room. Down. For the... Our setup's so sick. Gil and his boys right here. Bro, so he set us up to stay. Brings us down the cars every day. Sets up tents. All inclusive food. Everything. So sick. Crushing mangoes. Crushing mangoes. And sandwiches. Yeah. Mangoes are like the Mexican power bar, I swear. At least down here. I had like six of them a day. They're so good. What's this thing called? Gil, what's your company called? Yeah? What's your company called? Cafe Surf. Do you want us to shout you out? Cafe Surf. Cafe Surf.com. It's Watulco Surf Trip.com. Okay. Cafe Surf is the name, the brand. Okay. Thank you guys. <laughs> What is it? I fully forgot. Oh, Google surf trip. So, so cafe surf, right? We're just gonna put it right here. Yeah. Cafe yeah. Surf. If you guys are looking to come down here and score some sick waves, cafe surf. Watuko surf trip dot com. Is that what you said? No. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, there we go. <laughs> this is the guy. Casa es tu casa. Yeah. Thanks, Gil. No problem.